ho, hey, ho. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Another Friday, uh, Friday fun here in the Live Adventure Kitchen with the supposedly simple team, Michael and Alicia. Yes. Well, what are we doing today, Alicia? Oh, we We're have some. Sorry, I'll let you answer. I don't know why I asked you and they told me. <laughs> we have some crazy, exciting things that we don't even know what's going to be happening tonight. Um, so things could get really weird. I'm just going to preface it with that. I don't think they'll get that weird. I think it'll be pretty well. Apparently we sensible have some stuff. sensible stuff. We have some as seen on TV products that we're going to be putting to the test to see if they actually are. Lighting change. Uh, making our life easier, making our life simpler, making our life Yeah, these are, these are products that you can buy on Amazon, that you can see on TV, and they're supposed to be simple to use and help your life in some way. Kind of like a shoehorn. <laughs> Probably, hopefully not a shoehorn. Have you even ever seen a shoehorn? Yeah, uh, what? Let's just put them to the test, see what happens. Um, I'm very excited. We don't actually know what's in this box. Like, they're not maybe food related today. If you have been tuning in, then some of them might be food related, some of them might not be. So, I hope no one has any expectations about more uh, macaroni uh, peppers. <laughs> there we go, now it's center. The box didn't actually come like this, it was actually better sealed. This is, uh, this is just, I don't, I don't know. This is Michael, called... crack no. it open. <laughs> okay. Somebody may have opened it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it may have already been opened and checked. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh! Oh my god, I thought that was something totally different. Alright, we're gonna take these out maybe off camera, on camera. No, I let's just leave them there, well, yeah, and take, take them out one at a time. Okay, well we're not gonna do all of these though, are we? Or are we gonna do them all? Maybe if we have time we'll do them all. Okay, we have the clever egg cracker. Another egg themed uh, thing here for you everyone. That's that's great. <laughs> A lot of eggs on this show. That is right. gonna be great. <laughs> this is a. <gasps> Mom will know what this is. This is amazing. A sushi roller, I think. An at home sushi maker. Who doesn't love sushi at home? Oh my god. <gasps> what? An, an engraver? Like yeah. what? <laughs> All right. I don't... Engrave it pro. Okay, that's getting wild. You know what we should do, Lish? We should give you a tattoo with that. Oh, fit and firm arms in minutes. <laughs> that's exciting, Michael. I know you said you wanted to pump up these guns. Hey? What is this? That's what we're going to try first, you guys. All available on Amazon as well. I can tell you right now, this one is 100% going to work. It is? Yes. You think it's going to work? That's all I ever do at the gym. Right. <laughs> Steve. That's how you get Hi. guys. Who we got? We got Matt, we got Steve. Who else have we got watching? Hi guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Well, there's 12 people, 12 people but I can't see who. And can I get a hey ya if we try this one out on Michael? It is the Wonder Arms Total Arm Workout System. It looks like it zaps you though, so no, I, that's, that's it might point, inflict some pain. That's the points of uh, where it, it, I don't know. That's just where you put it? Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's, uh, this also looks like it was posted from the 80s. Remy, I don't know if uh, it's, it's time traveled, but it looks like it is not from this generation. I feel like every as seen on TV thing is kind of. It as is, seen on TV, right? Yeah. I think everything is, is a little bit from the 80s. Yes, okay. All right. Crack it open, Michael. I can't. All right. That's why he needs these improved. He can't even open the box. That's enough of this, hey? Hey. How about we get hey? you to do it? Oh, Gail's here. Hello, Gail. Hello, Mum. Hello, Lauren. Thanks for tuning in. Look at that. It's already looks like it's already put together. Hey, you there's, know what? Great instructions, packaging. Oh, instructions there's instructions in, there. in here? Yeah, because I don't really know what the heck I'm doing here. Okay, you guys. Wonder Arm, Total Arm Workout System. You got a door, you got a gym. All right, here okay. we go. Okay. Triceps, biceps, chest, shoulders, back and more. That is like a home gym. All right. And back a nutrition and guide included. So there's a home workout and nutrition guide. Like, that's, that's, that's pretty, cool. pretty great. The nutrition yeah. guide, that's pretty good. It might be helpful, right? Okay, Michael, let's have a look. What type of workout do you want to do? Let's, let's, just, let's just set it up. Let's see what the basic is. Level oh, you, one, level two, it. level three. Yeah, you, you move it. Okay, this no, is no, already more stop. complicated than Wait, I thought. No, no, you don't move it. You, those are the different levels, but where do you put the, the band? The band goes in the same spot. Band goes in the slot. It's just the level of your fitness. Resistance. What type of resistance do you want? 
I don't know, you can pick. I'm just gonna open it. Okay, maybe we should start small. <laughs> right? What? No, it's fine. You wanna go 35 pounds? Guys, level one is 15 pounds, level two is 25 pounds, level three is 35 pounds. Let's just go level three. We're going level three, a you big know? 35 pounder. Okay. Here we, I feel like we're catching fish or something. All right. Um, what? Pop it in the top. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I mean, is. it looks like the picture, I guess. It looks like a crab. <laughs> it's like the weirdest looking thing. You like, you just, ah, uh, whatever. Um, I think way? maybe make it small first to oh, put yeah, the band that, on. That yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, if anyone is interested, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, you know, for those people that are like, oh, I want to get fit, but I don't want to buy a gym membership. <laughs> I want to get fit, this could, but I, uh... I don't want to buy a gym membership. I want to waste my money. Swing outer arms into open what? position. So that's how to attach the band. Oh, how to attach the band. Yeah, okay, so we skipped step one. Here we go. Hey, there's females in the pictures. This is a good sign for any female out there. This is for you. So it's where you, where you so hold? So it's the way you do it, yeah. So this is the first so one. So triceps. Hold wonder arms at chest level, straight out in front of you. Is it upside down? No, it's just ugly. And then what do I do? Just like this? And just... No, you're gonna hold this part, I think. No, look at her hands already, right man. Look at yeah. her right in, mate. Oh, you, she's holding it like this, that's why. Oh, got you. Okay, and then pull hand grips apart and turn to closed position to complete the rep. Vary your rep speed. Man, I feel like this plastic's gonna break. Oh my god. <laughs> like, yeah. it doesn't feel like it's... Try, out, try, a, try a lesser one, one just so you can get the movement. That's not how she's using it in the picture, is no, it? No, 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 no. Yeah. There's like a multitude of different ways to use it. Let's that use was it. one. Here. Boom. On there, that's some pictures that'll probably help you if you need to figure it out. That was all triceps. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get what she did. She had it resting up on her body like... This is the dumbest thing. Oh, yeah, thing. you've got to push that on your on the insides of your arms so you're using your arms. Do you see that? Do I? Yeah, this bit here. That's why it's cushioned, oh, I think. Oh, that's why it's like an elbow. Yeah. That makes sense. So I'm all <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, is that better? Is that better? It's so stupid. Is it... Oh, you yeah. haven't tried it yet, okay. Okay. And then use that, yes, there you go! Look at that, <laughs> hey? Yes. <laughs> are you getting a workout? No. Yeah, you are. No, this is so dumb, I should've used the higher one. No. That's great, I think that works. This is so stupid. Are you sweating? <laughs> no, All I right. lost him in that for a bit. Right. Here, you have a go, at least. Do the one over the head here. Which is just over like, the head? You put it up like this. Oh, that's supposed to work your chest that's or something. That's your handle, thanks. And then, I don't know, for some reason they're holding it over their heads. I think because it's a different workout, right? Yeah, you bend. Yeah, they, I, they're also the exact same thing. It's just above your head. <laughs> I mean, I think it... Ow, my head. I think it's chest. That's great. It could be chest. Oh, it's so funny. You look ridiculous. You guys, that's like a home workout, though. That's something. It's something. I, I don't... I, I feel like... What? Yeah. Continue with the episode. I'll just get my burn in real quick. <laughs> Wait, can you move it? Can it change its settings? What do you mean? Like, is that is, you can't just do an alternate moving like that? I right? think that's essentially all it does. Because those are all the exact same movements. That is. They different... kind of are, though. But the, see, the triceps down. Oh, behind the back. Do that one. Oh, there's one behind the back. Yeah, that's that's fancy. I don't know how many it is. Oh. Has anyone tried any of yes. the of these home workout equipments? That's actually... But is that a different muscle? I don't like, are you feeling know. that somewhere else? I feel stupid. Ow. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. oh my god! All right. Well, I mean, that is a that is a Wonder Arm workout system um, available on Amazon. Give me the bigger one again. Let me see if I can do it properly. Oh now. god! I don't want to. I tell you what. That's a pretty. That's a pretty. That's a tight one. Yeah, that's supposed to be. It 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 actually does kind of feel sore in those spots, but the plastic. And maybe it is good plastic, I'm just cautious. It feels very weak. The plastic feels like it might break. It's not, yeah, like Superman strong by the looks of it. No, but they got a uh, Superman rat here. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm hesitant to go full with that because that feels like it's going to break. The band feels like it's going to no, break? No, the, the plastic. Like, I and can there's just, wine glasses here. Hear it creaking. They're plastic. Okay. <laughs> I can hear that like creaking as I do it. and I'm scared to... Uh, so maybe this is great, but maybe the bands are sort of not... Because uh, they're from the 80s, they're a couple decades old. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is, right? It's going to hold this for the rest of the episode. You can get close up on that, maybe, anytime you want to. Mate, your bloody muscles. 
That's what we're missing, a workout I'm, headband. Oh man, that actually does kill you. So that's like pretty good. It's pretty good. That actually burns, but... I think it burns. I think it works. What are you doing? Well, we're doing an exercise segment. That's okay. You can keep that on for the rest of the episode. Thank you. I don't know if I can. My brain is being squished. Well, I think it works. Brain. Wonder arms. But maybe not if you're trying to get like... Could you do your legs? Super bulk. I guess you couldn't because you... No, because you kind of need to yeah. rest it in an awkward position. All right. That's interesting. Yes. Yes. So what would you give that out of 10? I would give that a 6 out of 10. I'd give it probably less. Less I, I feel than a like, 6? I feel like people will spend money on these things to try and get fit when the reality is well, just do some push-ups. Like, why, why are you buying this crazy thing? Yes. Yeah, they're just buying hope. That's exactly, that's but the best thing. But you know thing. what, if that makes someone feel better, then that's okay. All right. No. I picked that one, you can pick the next one. Moving on, what have we got? I'm gonna do this egg cracker. You know how much I love eggs. You do love eggs. I could go for it. I eat so many eggs. <laughs> okay, so we've got... <laughs> we've got a clever cracker. Wait, what, what does this do? And scrambler. It scrambles the egg. No, it doesn't. Egg scramble inside it a shell. It inside. Oh, okay. So that one we might not be able to test because Why? we have to have a. We have eggs. Raw, a raw egg. Oh, we have, okay. We have eggs. We're, we're prepped, ready to go. All oh, right. You get the egg. Well, do you I actually need egg an egg? Is. Yeah. How about we read the instructions? It's an egg cracker. Oh my gosh. Do I actually need an egg? Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, we've got some. <laughs> There's always <laughs> eggs for us. <laughs> so that's that thing. Oh, that's really. Rainy nose. Surgical. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little uh, <gasps> lucky pin plastic. in the top here. Can you see that? Am I, am I confusing the camera? What am I doing here? See the little pin? See the little guy? Michael, people aren't interested in it's the pin. It's terrifying. It's super sharp. Look at it. Oh, is that because you're going to like whirl it and like get some egg scrambling action? I don't know. I think that's what goes in, in the butt of the egg. Let's read the instructions. Let's see. Smiling, uh... smiley face. Smiley face, mum knows what's about to come. Hey, what Mayhem about this? ensues. Hey, a little thumbs up. Oh no, that was a love heart. All Sorry. right, I'll read these. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. Okay. We have you here today, guys. We have you on the side of the screen here so we can see what you're saying. So. Oh, those batteries, Michael, that you were playing with before, you need those for this. Do I? Requires two AA batteries not included. These can be installed by grasping the on off switch and turning, the count turning it counterclockwise. Okay. Um, so you just need two. I had no idea this was battery operated. Oh, actually? I thought <laughs> I that's had, why you had the batteries. I, it's for the engraver, but I, uh, I guess... There you go. We yeah. can double up. We'll yeah. double dip. All right. Um, Are they double A's? Look at that. It was meant to be. We're meant to scramble tonight, you guys. We're meant to scramble. Scrambling the eggs egg. inside. It says, easy, easily scramble and crack eggs with no mess. How much mess do people make scrambling eggs? I mean, it can be a pretty messy job, right? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, it's not... Explain to me where the mess is. It's inside the pan. Yeah, that's true. And this oh, is, is there uh, two sets of instructions? The same instructions? No, I think this is a no, this is for the cracker and scrambling. Well, yeah. You know what? I think the scrambling is more interesting than the cracking. I think we could try out... I mean, look, we got eggs. Are these raw? Yeah. Well, the... Do they need to be cut? I think no, they I need don't know. To be, we'll see. We'll see. They'd have to be cooked. You wouldn't scramble. How about a you put the batteries egg, in? Let's you? let's. I don't think you can scramble a cooked egg. No, yeah, it has to be raw. What? What does it say? Does it say no, raw it egg? It has to be raw. Does it say raw egg? Yeah, any egg into does the piercing needle. Does it heat the egg or something? Maybe. Is it, is it a heated pin? Oh, does it cook the egg? <laughs> what? Does it? That's crazy. No, it's I can't cook it. Oh my god! This that is, would be a surprise to me. pretty wild. This might be the best gadget ever. Okay, so we yeah we were sold on the cracking, but we've actually got an exciting scrambling going on. Look at how dangerous that is though. That's like a sharp needle. Not for children. Which one Alex, if you're watching, no no. Does it positive that side or? Um, it said counterclockwise. So yeah, uh, clockwise no, to get it on. Oh <gasps> no, it's not going to cook it then. That's just going to scramble it, and I then you probably know. have to cook what it. What does this do? That's the cracker. That's the cracker. Yeah, because that's that one. And so what is Okay, this? so you've got that in. While holding the clever scrambler unit in one hand, gently and carefully lower an egg onto the piercing needle while placing into the egg cup. Where's the egg cup? Egg cup's there. Oh, that's the egg cup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So hold it, I guess, maybe upright. Oh yeah, hold it God. straight up like the... 
Oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Yes. That, no mess, by the way. This is terrifying. Oh my god! Onto the needle. Oh, onto the needle. Oh. oh, hello! Egg is in the cup. Oh, egg I do now. And I press cup. the button? No. Once the egg has been successfully pierced and lowered into the egg cup, grasp the egg with your free hand and loosely or loosely and turn the clever scrambler on. Oh, so I'm supposed to like make sure it doesn't fly off. I yeah. suppose so. Grasp it loosely. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? It's uh... Should this be on the other channel? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is... No, hold it loosely. It spins if you let go of it. It's funny. Okay, now is there a timer? Yes, allow the egg to be scrambled for approximately 15 to 20 seconds. 15 20 Always seconds? gently grasping the egg. I'm gently grasping the egg. Okay. And then, and then we're going to lift it off the needle and crack as you normally would. Wait, so should I heat a pan? Like, or do you want, like, do you know what I mean? Are you going to cook it or are you just going to see that it's scrambled? We should just see that it's scrambled, I guess. Yeah. So I'll grab a bowl. So then we just put it into a bowl, scrambled. Yeah. So while this is amazing. That's just shaking it. How is it scrambling it? Yeah, well, right? there's a needle, no there's a needle inside it going nuts. The needle inside it is going like this. Oh, okay. Is it? That, yeah. that wildly, though? Has yeah. anyone ever used one of these before? No one's talking to us. Everyone's watching. That's all right. They're, they're too enthralled in what is actually going on. <gasps> oh, yuck. Wait, it didn't leak? It didn't even leak, you guys. This is pretty mess-free so far. It leaked. Okay, gently lift the egg and crack as you normally would. Let's <clears> see. <throat> Let's right. see. <gasps> that is scrambled. Why would you buy this That's thing, though? That's crazy. <laughs> like, two seconds in a fork. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to heat mean, it up and crazy, cook the egg. I mean, crazy, clever contraption I was going to lose versus... my mind. That's what they should do. Cook the egg from the inside, and then you crack it and scrap. That would be amazing. Oh, that would this be kind of neat. That probably also exists as well. Okay. I think that that's a success as well. I think that that scrambled, uh, scrambled the egg. Look at how dangerous that is. Oh, yeah. It's so terrifying. when you turn it on, does it actually go... Oh, it does go it's like... It's a needle that violently thrashes around. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that very well. No, probably not. Oh, yeah, she, he's going to try and get a close yeah, up here. Yeah, I want you guys to sort of see. So that's the needle that you pierce it with, and then it like violently shakes. <laughs> right? That is dangerous. Michael, uh, do you want an ear piercing? My sister just said drink it. Probably not. No, I drink it. I Although, wouldn't. with your workout. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? There you go. We're on a trend. Bottoms up. No, don't don't, don't. don't no, do it, Mike. It's a raw egg. egg. Yeah. Salmonella. It's a raw egg. I was going to do it Rocky style, but everyone got. No, oh. you, you could get sick. Very I yeah. could get sick. I, uh, I, I won't allow it. definitely gonna... agree with that. Okay, well. Oh. <laughs> just quietly, just drink the egg. The... Uh, try the egg cracker, Lee. I think the egg, oh, okay, yeah, so the egg cracker. Are you going to bring that bowl back? Let's get another bowl, that one's full. Steve just said, said the comment. What did he say? Steve, what are you up to? We're all waiting to see where this goes. <laughs> Everyone wanted to see the egg scrambler in action. Okay, here we go. Place your egg inside the clever cracker no, cradle. Here, you did this. Oh, That's... different one. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we actually got two contraptions with that. We got uh, the weird needle, shaky scrambler, and we have this contraption. That's the egg cracker, mate. Dr. Matt, if you're there, what does this do? <laughs> it cracks eggs is the answer to that. It looks very medical, though. Hey, Owen, Owen... Olsenberg. Sorry, I just ruined your name there. I butchered it. He says to drink it as well. Everyone wants me to drink it. I don't know. I think it's two for two. I I'm think uh, I think a couple of us say drink, a couple Everyone's of us say don't. Thanks for the enthusiasm it. though, Owen. Owen. Yeah, Owen. Hi, Owen. Um, okay, so what are we doing? This uh, goes in the bottom here for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like, catch. I'll oh, probably catch something. The egg? <laughs> Maybe. What? Oh, the shell is held in the cradle. Dispose the eggshell after cracking is complete. Oh, that's a built-in yolk catcher. Oh, you do it on the side. What? What the hell? I think that catches the yolk. Actually, which is kind of handy for recipes when you have to separate a yolk from the white and stuff. Yeah? Hey, let me read this. Okay. Place your egg inside the, hevel, the handle. Okay, so you pop it in the hand in the cradle. Sorry. Which, which way? Which is this part. This is this bit. Put it in there. Well, like, just like no, that? No, other way. Other way. Long ways. Long ways. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, uh, there we go. And train the long and the show the built-in yolk catcher. We'll secure the yolk and allow the egg whites. So, yeah, it's for the egg whites. So, we're going to do this. I don't know about and this. And we're going to drain the egg whites, okay? Because that's fancier than just cracking an egg. Because anyone can crack an egg. Are you telling me I'm just supposed to squeeze it? Yeah, over the bowl. Yeah. Like, yeah. to literally just squeeze it. Um, wait. 
Our revolving friends. Squeeze the handle firmly until the egg cracks. I just feel like it's going to crack and go everywhere. This is the beauty of the clever egg cracker. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm squeezed. I don't know how this is supposed to work. What? Well, you kind of tilt it a little. The yolk, oh. is, but the yolk is just kind of draining through. <laughs> it's not catching the yolk. <laughs> it just drains straight through. <laughs> well, I'm surprised that it just, um, it did crack easily though. That was kind of impressive. I don't know how effective it is as a separator, but it's not an egg separator, it's an egg cracker, so Everybody's that's telling not me to false drink advertising. It. Everyone still wants me to drink it. We have Eddie Lopez telling me to drink it now. Eddie, come on! What about salmonella? What about salmonella? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but let's try that again. I want to see if this maybe was just... See that's... if you hold it, balance it out a little bit more, and don't tilt it and see if, yeah. Okay, this is like... The... Here we go, round two, because we always try things more than once. That worked much better! But the yolk just seeps through. No, that's not the yolk. Remove it right after, you know, oh, like straight away? Oh, know, but even then, it's only like the tiniest little bit. Yeah. The rest is sort of like... I mean, if you can see that, it's pretty well... Why? He's yeah, pretty it's... well in there. So disgusting. Yummy. So... <laughs> not a... F yeah, Kinda, right? Yeah. Very good eggs. Very good egg consistency there. That's interesting. That's so a... I would also highly recommend the Egg Cracker 2000 from recommend? Amazon. Highly um, recommend. I mean, like, again, I don't know if it's any easier than, like, crack, crack. Yeah, and it's um, well, it's just a weird thing to buy. But... I mean, I it separates like, the yolk, but, I, I mean, you can do that with the eggshell. Also, this is perfect timing because Christmas is coming up, and if you guys need Christmas ideas, then, I mean, I'm pretty sure Naomi from accounting wants the, the egg cracker because that's what Naomi from Naomi accounting does. Naomi from accounting? Yeah. Who is that? Oh, she does the yeah, things, let's... you know. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to separate a yolk just with my own hands. Don't you go like this? And you go, ha, da da, da da, da da. So, da, comparatively, da. I feel like that was. But did you get any eggshell in the. No, you're pretty clean. You're pretty clean. Right. Yeah. Now you have your yolk. Yeah. I don't think that uh, it's any easier. But it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So you could give that egg cracker to a child. Hey, there you go to help in the kitchen if they uh, if they uh, want to feel like give you know. Give them a sharp little scrambly pin <laughs> thing. Maybe and not the scrambler. Have you ever whipped egg whites on their own to make like uh, like you know, foams up and stuff? No. no. If you have like a drop of the yolk in there. It doesn't work. Right. Yeah. Like, so right. four strict cooking recipes that you you can't let the yolk. Touch the white. Well, then you'd have to do it the way I just did it because the way you that would, made, yeah, because that was drippy. Or you literally have to like crack it and then get it out of there, you know? So like that an instant. Was, I would say pretty, again, pretty ordinary results. Well, I would say, I'd say it does what it says it does. Sort of. Right. I'd say, yeah. I mean, it didn't really do any of them very well. But it scrambled I mean, it did, and it, it cracked. It definitely scrambled the egg. It did do that. Right. Apparently your dad has something to say. Dad, what have you got to say? Thank you for tuning in as well. Thank you uh, for watching. What should we do next? Should we Appreciate do the engraver it. or should we do the... Engraver, you said it. Let's try it. Uh, Here we go. Pressure. All right, this is going to be one of those hard Under to open. Under pressure. You, you, uh... Can you use this on your body? Like, are we going to get, like, tattoos you tonight? Can. Is that what's going to happen? I said that. We'll, we'll engrave oh, each you other. Did? We'll just put like scars on our face. Yeah, like teardrops. We'll be tough. No, you know what? I want thug life on my belly. Like just scarred into your yeah. stomach. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that'll look great. That would be a great story. I need scissors for this, right? To this open is, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just cut her open. But how do I cut it without damaging this? You can get all this stuff from Amazon, guys. Uh, <laughs> I know you're this sounds like an Amazon-sponsored episode. It's really not. It's just uh, it's where Remy purchased everything from this evening. And for those eager to go out and buy that Egg Cracker 2000, I know you're out there. Amazon. As seen on TV. As seen on TV. Is it worth the space, the cupboard space? Ah, uh, let's be honest. <laughs> it's not even worth the cupboard space. No. Although it is kind of smaller on the smaller side. It's not taking up much room. That bloody arm exercise one, not so much. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's some bits and bobs. Oh, you even get something to engrave. Oh, wow. That's, oh, no, a no, stencil. It's a stencil. Kay. That's still, that's good. That's thoughtful. What are we going to engrave? So I didn't know, so I brought a can <gasps> of fried beans that you could 
tattoo. Oh, that is fantastic! <laughs> this we is our guinea pig for Amateur Engraving 101. Beans. Can we cook up the beans? Refried beans. I would eat the beans. Hey? All right, okay. So the stencil, I guess, there's a stencil, which is cool. I might take the label off. Sorry, I Western family. Don't know if we need it, but... Yeah, I mean, we should try with a stencil. Put a stencil in the top. Oh, we're just doing you the bottom. Freehand it, it's going to look like serial killer. Yeah, <laughs> it might be a bit Fine. weird. We'll give it a go. Um, okay, what do we do? Hit. It says easy to use, and then that's all it says. It says easy to use, and that's all. Try to that one actually needs the battery, so I'm going to take the mound of the egg cracker. Oh, it, your dad said, awesomest thing ever. Just bought six of them. He's talking <laughs> about the egg cracker. Well, at least someone out there is uh, keeping the egg cracker in business. Whoever got your dad for Secret Santa knows what to get him. That's it. That's absolutely right. Dad, you know what you've got coming for Christmas? What um, are doing here? Where did the batteries yeah, go? Yeah, I think you just twist it out. Oh, I think okay. it just pops out, but I don't want to... Maybe we should read so we don't break. Well, there is no instructions. About the batteries? To use. Unscrew <laughs> from the bottom counterclockwise, which is the way this lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. I'm kind of excited about this engraver. Boom. Here you go. Two. Do you want to go first, Leash? No, you can, uh, you can put it to the test. I bet you it won't work. It's just not going to work. It feels too cheap. Hold the Engrave It. It's called the Engrave It Pro. I'm sorry, we should have prefaced it with the title of the thing. Engrave It Pro. And apparently, you know what? It engraves anything. So we should put that to the test and see if you can engrave my face. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know you need people trying to say that as well. Like that's what everyone did before. They're like, you're going to Right? I mean, okay. the photo on here has wood engraved, tin, bikes, pendants. So if you want to like engrave jewelry for again Christmas presents. Okay, I'm struggling to put this back on. Now. Oh, okay. Oh no, there it is. It just didn't catch. All right. Uh, okay. There's a different head though. Your mom says no tattoo before you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mom says no tattoo before I'm 30. Aye aye, Captain. So you, you press it and you hold it down with your thumb. Does it have to heat up or something? I feel like when it's engraving, it's like hot. There is egg everywhere. Yes. What's that? Attach, attach a magnifier if needed. Magnifier not included. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Magnifier is sold separately, guys. So what are guys. we we're doing? The top. Let's see. Let's see. Or ever. <laughs> no, mom. No tattoos for me. What are we doing? Yes. Should I tilt it to do that? Right. Okay, let's see. Wait, you're not using the stencil. Do you want me to hold the stencil? I'm just gonna see if it works. I'm, it should be hot, right? But it's well, I would think unless it's just a giant scratcher, and it should be called the, the like the Scratch It Pro. Ooh, uh, it sounds like you're drilling. Oh, <gasps> what? That's crazy. How simple is that? Is it easy to use? Oh man, it goes a little wild. <laughs> Perfect. That's crazy. There it's actually go. working. Leash, give me a face. Look at that. Look at that. You can have that on your face. Can I touch it? I just want to see, like, did it actually just like... Look at that, it's beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Holy smokes, that's like the most coolest like Amazon as seen on TV ever. It is the... Engrave it pro. Well, yeah. This is what the professionals use. When you get stuff engraved out the back, this is what they're doing. Literally, the same thing. That's incredible. But Can you I could, see you could the engrave. End? It's very hard to to keep directional. Uh, and it's just like got a round end. It's not even like a you sharp could end. You could be good. Oh my gosh. Tilt it uh, over this way, Lisa, so they okay. can see. And don't I, do um... anything rude. Oh, okay. Here God. we go. But this is so awkward because my handwriting is so messy. It sounds like you're drilling. It really does. Push down a little harder because mine, like, kind of, it would, like, shoot away. This is how you get your roommates to not eat your food. Yeah, <laughs> right? What? What? So we have 12 viewers, but I don't know who they are, so let's get them to, like... You guys! Who's watching this right now? 
Who's watching things get smelly? Smelly. We know we have uh, what? a mom, a dad, a Matt, a Lauren. Owen, are you still with us? No, he was only here for me to drink the eggs. Oh, you guys, I am so impressed with that. That's so good. So if you ever, like... I kind of wish I had a bit of jewellery to engrave. I smell. <laughs> no, I already saw that. Like, I made, well, I like... to test it on, like, a better metal. So in that drawer, there's some uh, cutlery. Uh, on a spoon? Mm -hmm. What? Can we try this on a spoon? This one? Yeah, no. yeah that one. Oh my gosh. But use a stencil. Yeah, try a stencil. Ha Let's pick Where a cute on the spoon pattern. though, on the handle? I think the writing's too big. Oh, uh, okay. Well, no, Maybe... just try a star. Yeah, look, that'll be perfect. Alright, we're gonna try a star. Here, I'm do you want me to hold this. it or something? Yeah, yeah I'll hold okay. it like this. Okay, Wait, can you see? Don't, take your thumb away, the finger from underneath it. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, can you, can you try doing it like right here? Yeah, yeah we'll yes. try to pull it over here. Maybe. We're gonna put a star into this spoon. Put it, make sure it's on it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, Here is that better? Go. Yeah, okay. Here we go. You guys, this is an actual metal fork. It actually doesn't sound the most pleasant. It does sound like someone's getting like a, a wisdom tooth out or like a cavity filled. I tell you what, it kind of eats away at the stencil as well. So I don't know how much use you're gonna get out of these stencils. I want to know how it's actually doing it though. Like what's the science? Is anyone know the science behind how this actually works? Try and engrave an eggshell, Maggie says. Uh, I think uh, we'll end up with another scrambler if we try to engrave <laughs> an eggshell. I think it's the same technology. It's <laughs> the same technology. The same company is producing both of these things. There's also a Charlotte that's tuned in. Charlotte, thank you so much for watching. All right, there we go. Has, so oh, we put an the egg big in reveal. There. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to remove the stencil and uh, we're going to see what the star looks like that Michael has engraved. This one is perfect. <gasps> As we see. It's just... Stunning! Hey, that's pretty cool. Wow. That is kind of neat. That's pretty cool. Do you want to do unleash? I dig that. That's kind of cute. You could like have a personal touch on like, I don't know, anything really. That's really yeah. adorable. If you want to ruin all your cutlery, sure. Well, I mean, it's for Christmas. I'm exactly. Like, like, yeah, I mean, like it's, it's good, but you probably can't see it up close. It's not like amazing. It's still like... I think that, that I'm pretty impressed by it. As seen on TV um, product. I'm sure, yeah. Like, Do you I, remember I think, the egg cracker? I want to see if I can do this freehand. Not on a spoon. Don't ruin the spoon. spoon. On the back, maybe. Don't ruin the spoon. Should I try to engrave what they wrote? Stainless steel, Ikea. Should I write that? <laughs> no, I won't. That's you won't be able much. to get it to fit. No, what should I put here? Maybe I'll put Alicia. Here. I don't know. I think we've definitely proven that that is actually not a bad purchase. I think that that works. I just wouldn't, I, I don't want to ruin Raimi's spoon. It's okay. Sorry about it. <laughs> I don't think you can be very precise with it. Like you can't do it on anything too small. Like if you were trying to write really small, cause it actually, it is kind of hard to control. Um, but Owen, thank you for tuning in. You need emu eggs to engrave. That's true, Mum. We do need emu eggs. I feel like they're probably a little bit tougher and a little bit more resilient than uh, the soft Canadian chicken eggs. Any guesses as to what Michael is engraving right now? Remember, we're keeping this G-rated, as G-rated as possible. I tried to do a little face. Oh, classic! He has his tongue out. Did but... you dust it? Oh yeah, sorry. Dust it off. Aww. That's adorable! Look at that! That is quite like precise and small though. Like, yeah. The problem is that there's no room for error, right? I mean, that's just engraving. Like, you'll feel it go like, whoop. That's art. Alright, do art. my finger. Art's ugly, alright. No. <laughs> oh my God. Do you reckon it would, it would probably make oh, you bleed? Actually, you know what would be better? Open your eye and lay down. <laughs> Just... I do have a cavity I need filled. All right, I reckon that passes. That's, That's great. Cool. That's that amazing. Good. All right, engrave it pro. You get a big tick from the supposedly simple team here. Yeah, I would uh, give that a pretty big here. tick. That's right? kind of what it promised to do. That's kind of neat. I, it probably is pretty... that a balloon? Do you have any balloons? No, the tip will not even puncture a balloon. We should, oh, we should we test that. We should have that. tested that. That's interesting. Oh, I thought that was balloons for a second. Floss and balloons. It's, uh, no, let's move yes. on to the fun and final uh, sushi 
Uh, sushi. Kitchen. Ki oh, no, sorry. Kitch wise. Sushi. 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 I'm going to assume this maker. is the ingredients here. I, pr I suppose so. Guys, full disclosure, I believe I have used something very similar to this before, but it wasn't pink! What? <laughs> this is so cool. You're forgetting the main ingredient. <laughs> Could be a manufacturing issue because mine was white, this is pink, but I would always go with pink. Oh so. no, I picked it. It's pink. All right, <laughs> you can pick colors. Um, okay, oh my gosh, this is exciting. Look at this instructions. Okay, let's try this. Uh, Remy has generously prepared some, I assume, sushi rice from earlier yeah. and some everything else we basically need. Okay, so cooking the sushi rice, done. Where is just the how to done. fill it? Easy. You know what? There's pictures. We're just going to follow the pictures and see well, where it takes let's us. Let's follow the pictures then. Okay. Open your kitchen wise and lightly oil the inside. I'll grab some oil, Michael, if you want to open the kitchen wise. Open the kitchen wise. Matt said that the engraver wouldn't affect his handwriting. It wouldn't affect his handwriting? What does that mean? It means he has bad handwriting. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's open. I'm hoping that came off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally. I think that's supposed to come off. Um, and then it said lightly oil the inside, I believe. This is also supposed to come off? Yeah, that comes out. Yep, yep, yep. Follow the instructions, Michael. Follow I'm, you're the instructions. Supposed to be following the instructions, man. Here we go. Lightly oil. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of oil, lot. man. That's all right. Oh man. Um, with your wet your hands to help handle the rice better. Make sure the plunger rod is sitting in the screw thread position. Should we have washed this from having got it from Amazon? Yeah, probably. That's all right. Is there anything in there? It's fine. Well, it's fine. Look, we're just making sushi. It's fine. Let's lightly oil that. It's uh, what if we get... No, oh, no, I'm going to wash it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, rookie error. I'll be quick. Always preheat your oven, always wash it before um, you try it. Leash, do you have uh, anything to dry this with? Yeah, there's a tea towel over here. Yeah, all right. Can I have a tea towel? I'm very excited to try the sushi maker and eat the sushi. Apparently tonight in the bento kitchen we have crab sushi. Hey, you love crab, crab Leash. Crab and cucumber sushi. So we're going to try it. <laughs> If that's not like, we'll call it the bento roll, all right? The bento okay. roll. Uh, we're making it up as we go. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. So we'll try that again. Take two, you guys. We're going to lightly oil. Lightly oil. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> um, we'll rub it around. We'll rub it around. Take a napkin and like... Yeah, yeah. is there a napkin somewhere? This no, like a napkin, paper. like a... Oh, paper towel. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Let's put some egg in it. I don't think you really put egg in sushi. Yeah, what? But it's Do cooked. You? It's Do you? cooked. I'm talking about like raw egg. I was being silly. Oh, got you. Okay. Cooked eggs you put in. Cooked eggs. Okay. All right. It's lightly oiled. What's the next step? I don't know what step you're on. This one right here. Lift out the plunger rod and... Uh, Done it. Oh, no. Hang on. Sorry. And lay it... No, but you're going to put... Pack the... half a cup of sushi rice mixture into one half of the sushi -zi. Let's be exact here. Half a cup. Also, this is supposed to rest here, I believe, according to the picture. Make sure the plunger rod is sitting in the screw thread position. Pack half a cup of sushi rice mixture in. And repeat with half a cup into the other half. So eventually we'll need two, two half cups. But for now... Mm -hmm. Sushi rice. Sushi rice, you guys! Which side, which side do we put it in? Uh, we eventually need to put it in both, so... But the plunger side first. Yeah, plunger side first. Okay, half a cup. There we go. Oh, more. wet hands so the sushi rice doesn't stick. Apparently that was a tip. We're following the instructions. Okay. Oh, and it's still warm sushi rice even. That's just a bonus for us here at the Bento Kitchen. <laughs> Not. Hang on one sec, Michael. I just want to make sure it did say. Repeat into the other half and again, make sure the plunger rod is in the screw thread. I'm confused. Well, it's just keep it like the picture. You're but fine. then do I have to move this and put it in that end? Not yet. N but you, when you we still do the someone. other half? It just says do this and then do that and then we're doing something after this. Okay. Yeah. Is the other half. Take no, it but out. I'm saying, do I have to yeah put that there? No, it's it's the same. It's a it's the same thing, whether it's no, here or there. No, but it's got space. Like it's got it's gonna have space. It's gonna have space there too. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, you could probably do that. Okay. I guess. Well, I guess we'll I don't just think do it really matters too much. Okay, we're being so precise. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna move this here. here. Okay. Put the rod and play it in the center of the one half of the rice. Press firmly down and make sure the plates. I think being firm is actually quite important in this procedure making. 
Oh dear. All right, here, you, you read ahead. I'm going to quickly chop up I some of this. I think we need more rice. No, it said a half a cup on each side. Okay. Because you're putting all this stuff in there too. Yeah, but this hasn't even covered the... You know what I mean? It hasn't yeah, I'm covered gonna the... Yeah, I'm going to bring a knife over here, Leash. Don't turn around and run at me. Okay. I'm going to turn around and run at you. How should I do the things? Probably in uh, long strips? Yeah. yeah. Get creative, you know? Right. Whatever feels right. How are we doing I here? just don't think that that's... All right. I'm going to... Like... Be enough to cover it, but... All right. We've packed it in there. Lift out the plunger rod and lay it in the set. Oh, okay, this Here's is where we get. Long, yes. Like the length of the whole thing, long strips. I like it. Like yeah. the whole length of this. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because like, it so goes on here. So how would I cut that? Like the from up here and go like. Just cut that end off, yeah, and then slice it. I didn't know that. Nobody, you said do it how you feel, then everybody. <laughs> you, know I thought you said strips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna make little ones and then put them in there. Um. Okay, and then lift out the plunger rod and lay it on the center of one half and press firmly down, making sure that it, the end plate is in position. You want to make the hollow out, right? Like the little hollow for everything to yeah, go into. Yeah, apparently. Making sure the end plate is in position. I don't really know what that means. That, so you, oh. you want to go like where you were basically. Yeah, like oh, that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to squeeze that in there. Squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. Might I just don't really tuck know how to do sides. this. Tuck in the sides while we're squeezing. first, I guess. Uh, we're going to do that <laughs> both sides. There we go. The there we go. This will provide a neat straight groove. Lay your ingredients into these grooves. Okay, there we go. This is hard to cut. <laughs> I just, so yeah. These pieces here. Oh, I mean, it's a groove. I don't know if it's a neat straight groove. Yeah, we need more rice, Michael. We well, I, I'm pretty, I'm betting pretty sure that we do need more rice. Put but one of we'll these guys see. in here. Hang on, I no haven't got a groove yet. Um, oops, where is this not going in? There we go. Oh, no. Okay, this is much harder than I thought. It's not fitting. Did I do this the other way somehow? Yeah, fine. What are you doing? It's not, like it's not fitting. Like, cause it's the yeah, end. That's fine. What, you can't do a groove like that. It's gotta be flush. Oh, hang on, I'm, so no, you Charlotte said. Charlotte says, uh, you wanna read it, I'll let you read it. Charlotte, if you add cream cheese with crab and cucumber, it will be a California roll. Oh, so we just need some cream cheese. Cream cheese. We don't have any cream cheese, <laughs> but that's so that's all that changed. That's the only difference, Charlotte. Just the cream cheese, and we have a California roll. So right now, what do we have? Nothing. We well, can have a crab and uh, crab and cucumber roll. Myra's here. Myra. Aren't you on holiday, Myra? What are you doing? Myra is in Thailand. Yeah, you're on holidays. All right, let's go. Okay, what are we doing? What's the next step? Let's put some crab in there. Uh, provide. Yeah. Okay. Put the ingredients in, I guess. Well, Myra wants to know what the sorcery is, so. For anyone tuning in? Oh, uh, guys, welcome if you've just tuned in. We are uh, oh. doing as, we are testing as seen on TV oh, products. Stinks. Um, and we have a, currently a at home sushi maker. So we are putting it to the test. So put something in there, Leash. Okay, like slice that up. I don't know how much more I'm supposed to slice. I'm just making it thinner. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I don't know. A little bit more? Sure. And these guys? Yeah. Should I put it in both sides or just one side? Probably just one side. Oh yeah, look, they've got that. Well, yeah, and then I'll put the <coughs> crab in this side. And that's okay. it. The crab, <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's, here's a smelly crab. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm not a... Yeah, it is. So oh, that's... it doesn't smell. So Charlotte says yes. The only thing that separates what we're doing from a California roll would be the cream cheese. Oh, so we just need cream cheese. So we have an almost California roll. Thanks, Charlotte. Thank you. Oh. Okay, now what? Yeah, my, my sister Maggie says she doesn't understand how this works. Just wait and see. It's actually, it's nuts. Yes, uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Gently close the two halves together starting at a 45 degree angle. So, oh, okay, so these wait, must be hooked. you have to have the roll, the roll in there first. This guy has to be in there or else you won't... Um, well, it doesn't say that. Where does it say that? It's in there right here. See? Oh, this isn't clipping. <laughs> Okay, there we go, sorry. Because you can't close it and then add this later. Got this to. has to be in here already. Okay, so we're putting this little contraption back in there. Do you need... And then we're going to close it at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, so it doesn't fall out, basically. Yeah, I'm just... that. See that? that one. Oh, there it goes. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, oh. Eh, oh. Eh, oh, eh. oh, that's grody. Okay. 
Hey. Oh, look, there's something happening. Zane bench. is watching. Hey, Zane, what's up? Hey, Zane, thanks for tuning in. We're making some sushi at the Bento Kitchen. Have you ever seen one of these before, Zane? They're insane. With a pink, bought on Amazon, at home sushi maker. Okay, so it's I'm going to close messy. this. It's a little messy. It's a little messy. Uh, clip the latches shut, fit the end cap by lining up the two marks, and make sure it is secure by twisting to lock it into place. Oh, yeah, and then you push it up against that or something, so it's nice and like jammed in there. Wait, it's got a lock somehow. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, yeah, that's locked? Lock okay, yeah. sweet. <laughs> All right, and then hold the kitchen wise in one hand and turn the plunger knob until the mark on the rod is reached. Appro approximately five full turns. So we're going to turn it one, two, well, three. You'll feel it because it'll four, stop. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to get something nice Nine, to present this with. Ten. On a plate. You said it's supposed to stop? Huh? Twist the end cap to unlock and remove the cap. Okay. On a bench or tabletop, Wait. place a nori sheet glossy side face down. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I need uh, a plate. Where are the plates? Why ah. don't you just do it on the cutting board? Cutting board's you're gonna boring. Because you're going to have to cut it up. But you're going to have to cut it up. I forgot about that. <laughs> Myra asked, uh, why does your crab come in a packet? <laughs> it's not real. Uh, it's not apparently real crab. it's not real crab. It's made so out of tofu. So it comes in a packet. No, it's, it's not. It's, real, it's, crab. it's real crab, isn't it? You're joking, right? It's real crab. No. It's, is it vegan it's crab? It's like uh, imitation crab. What is it made out of? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is it made out of? Like probably so interesting. Of California rolls are made out of like imitation crab. Right. Yeah. There you go. You learn something new every day. And, it's uh, it's made out uh, Alaska chainsaws and log splitters next week question mark outdoor episode oh yeah. an outdoor episode food for thought food for thought thanks for the suggestion mum okay let's see what okay Leah let's see what happens maybe I'm gonna try it this way so that the end comes off this way okay so I'm gonna twist the end cap off. That's so weird. And this is like a combination of multiple on a bench, things. Then gloss side. Oh, do you, you want to get the nori sheet? Yeah. Oh, mate, what are you jumping ahead for? Um, and what do, I, do I need to wet this or anything? No, it just says place it glossy side face down with the longest edge closest to you. Flaking seaweed everywhere. Yeah, I think we wet after. I'm already wet. I don't know how to get the seaweed out. Glossy side down? Glossy side face down with the longest edge closest to you. So that's the glossy side, so that's face down. Yep, very that's clearly. That's pretty glossy. No, that's glossy. Okay. Yep. The longest edge... No, other way. Yep, you way? got it. Perfect. Position the newly formed rice roll onto the nori sheet. Here a bit <gasps> hey, that looks like sushi. What? I think you just push it out. It didn't really. S oh yeah, push hey, plunger right through. Stephen is watching as well. Hello, <gasps> Stephen. Is everyone watching this? You're watching right this now? unveil here. Look at this. This is. Oh, actually, I didn't see where I was supposed to position this on the sushi sheet, but. Kind of looks like. What the heck? That's pretty good. That's a sushi roll, y'all. Why do you go into a southern accent every <laughs> day? <laughs> Okay. Then it says it? roll up the nori roll sheet. I'll mess it up. Wet the nori sheet at the joining end with a little water to ensure that the overlap sticks. That's so just you just gotta roll it up and okay. wet it at the end. Oh, uh, Stephen Jameson just tuned in. Yeah, yeah, I said Stephen Jameson. Stephen, Jameson's here. Stephen. Yeah. Mike, do you wanna just um? Oh, actually, I'm gonna use this cup. I'm sorry if you were drinking it, just to I was wet uh, out the that. water. Roll up the nori sheet. Wet the sheet at the joining edge with a little water to ensure that this it overlaps. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water there. So it sticks. And apparently so like that's an supposed to help it stick. Now we can mail this sushi somewhere. Put a mail it? it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. To allow the nori sheet to soften, leave for 15 minutes before slicing. Moisten the blade of a sharp knife with water. Slice through. Wet the blade of the cutting knife. Moisten the blade? Okay. Yeah, but also we're supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes, so it might not nah, be... we don't have 15 minutes. But you guys, like, that is super impressive. That's pretty cool. That, oh, it's warm to the touch. Well, because the rice <laughs> is warm, I think. Oh, it smells like I imitation crab. I reckon start in crab. the middle. Yeah, cut it in the middle. Want to cut then, the middle? Yeah. But that's not a sushi piece. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh. You should have got the miracle blade. <laughs> it cuts through everything. I mean, that's still pretty good. Like, you could eat that. Yeah. Dip that in some soy sauce and there bam. There you go. That's so impressive. You could put chicken in that with some avocado. 
You could get super creative with ingredients. This is a fun potty one because you could have like the ingredients laid out, like the fake crab and avocado and like the fake what crab. Did, what did who said we needed the sauce? We needed cream and cream stuff. Cheese. Cream cheese. There you go, a little piece. Have a California roll. There you go, Leash. Look at that. I, I would eat it, but the imitation crab pots got me a little freaked out. <laughs> oh, you're all ready to drink a bloody egg, but imitation crab is what I freaks you out. Don't like. Crab. <laughs> well, that's not crab, so you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, hilariously enough, crab is one of the ingredients. But there you it's go. Way At least there is crab the in there. Does it really say crab is one of the ingredients? Yeah, it's but it, it's it's in a it's in a uh, parentheses with um, <laughs> snow crab extracts of blue crab, snow crab, lobster, and Alaska pollock. But that's, there's also fish in there, refined fish. That's below corn. King crab meat. Sugar, dried egg whites, sea salt. Ugh, this sounds awful. And then a lot of other things you can't anyway, pronounce. But, but, but this is what they use in the sushi stores. The uh, the you know the imitation well, we don't crab. Know that. We don't know that. I'm pretty Most sure. Most of the time. Yeah. Anyway. It looks like what I imagine crab would look like. Mm. Sebastian just tuned in. Sebastian. Oh, hello. Thanks so much for watching. Caught us right um, at the end. Yeah, you caught us right at the end. But uh, to surmise, we have just tried some at home. Uh, pretty interesting contraptions. All bought off Amazon. All bought off Amazon. I think that the Engraver was my favorite because it was the most surprising. Let's go. Let's engrave the sushi. No, let's not. Oh, but to be honest, the egg scrambler was pretty funny. I mean, these are all pretty cool. This is actually a good Christmas present for those uh, those a bit stumped because who doesn't love like a little at-home sushi night? You this know? thing was pretty funny too. Yeah, that's pretty great as well. We forgot about that. I want you to stretch it out once, just fully. No, because if it flies off, it's going to kill somebody. Yeah. You'll be at home, they'll I find you. I think you're just not strong enough. Are you, are you seeing what these people are seeing, Alicia? <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing this? No, oh my. I'm holding it upside oh down. <laughs> I'm not even doing it. Yeah. Ah. I'm scared. See, you get scared. It's, nah, it no, makes, it's good. It creaks a lot, because this is from the 90s. So it it's works. been sitting on a shelf it's a workout. for 20 years. <laughs> The band has, anyway. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you really, 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 really enjoyed this episode because we really, 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 really enjoyed having you. Yeah. Michael is a little obsessed about the gun show that's happening right now. No, I'm holding it like a gun now as well. Oh, I thought you were looking at your bicep. Don't zoom in on my bicep. <laughs> well done, well done. But no, everything we showed can be bought on Amazon. So like we said, if you are uh, interested in any of these contraptions, get clicking, get shopping. I would, I, the sushi maker is the only one I would recommend. The rest of this is... Uh... No, the engraver was actually dope. Yeah, but do you need that? You know, Yeah, like that is such a cute sure. thing. If you to want to get like... into engraving, shop. Sure. Yeah. But maybe spend some more money. And it's probably cheaper than like a $50 engraver. I don't know. How much were these? Were they reasonably priced? Yeah. I think yeah. Everything was under 20 bucks. Everything, everything was, under 20, was bucks. under 20 bucks. So you can't really beat it. Uh, well, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thank um, you very much. This is actually our season finale. So we'll be coming back next year, but that's the last show for the year. So thank you all for being here. Yes. Thank you for coming in every week and uh, putting Have up with this. Have an amazing and safe holiday season. Send us some suggestions, you know, on the Facebook page if you want to see us try anything else. Um, they asked for a zoom in on Alicia's bicep as well. Yeah. Let's oh, do guys, it. that'll break the, she that'll break it. That thing too. Yeah, do it. I shouldn't have worn a jumper. No. Yeah, oh, well, you I can flex your, it's... flex your turtle muscles. Let's go. I don't want my turtle muscles flexing. There you go. <laughs> I'll actually do this and break it though. Look at that. Whoa. That's disgusting. <gasps> that's all the way. No, oh my god, we got there. We got there. That's all the way. <gasps> but doesn't that feel like it's going to break any second? Oh. It really does. Stop doing it then. You're holding oh, it upside down as well. Oh, okay. You're, you're supposed that to have your hands like this. Oh, okay. What were you doing? I have no idea. Oh, I'm really out of breath though. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's a workout. All right, you guys. Ah. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your months between now and the new year. Please follow, like, subscribe. I'm sure you already probably do the page. Yes. Um, Support. Support. We yeah. love you. And, and your, your Instagram handles. Oh, yes. Oh, Instagram handles. We never do those. Uh, it's our names. Mine so, is Michael Doonan. Michael Doonan. But my name's spelt stupid. It's spelt the Irish way. So M I C H E A L D double O N A N at Instagram.com. Not how handles work, I don't think. <laughs> no. And then mine is also just my name, Alicia Pearson, A-L-I-E-S-H-A, Pearson. 
Um, and guys, remember to always stay simple. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. That's what I've been saying.